Hi, welcome to Sunil Maths Tutorial. Functional Analysis Class Number Seven. In this video, we prove a statement. Let us take a Banach space capital B, which is the direct sum of linear subspaces capital M and N. That is, B is equals to that is B is equals to M direct sum N. And if Z is equals to x plus y is the unique expression of a vector Z. In capital B, as the sum of vectors x and y, where x belongs to capital M and y belongs to capital N, and we define a new norm that is in the linear space B by norm Z dash is equals to norm x plus norm y. We have to prove that this is a actually a norm, and B dash symbolizes the linear space B equipped with this new norm. We have to prove that B dash is a Banach space if M and N are closed in capital B. So, right. First, we analyze the statement. Let us see. They given that they given that capital B is a Banach space. Capital B is a Banach space, and B is direct sum of M and N. Capital B is the direct sum of M and N. It means. M and N are linear subspaces of capital M. Linear M and N are linear subspaces of B, and also that B can be expressible as that B can be expressible as direct sum of M and N. It means every vector belongs to B can be written as sum of two vectors. Every element in B can be written as sum of two vectors x plus i y. I mean, it is unique expression again. One is from M and the second one is from N. Every element alpha belongs to capital B can be uniquely written as alpha is equals to beta plus gamma, where that beta belongs to capital M and gamma belongs to capital N, and this expression is unique. This expression is unique. So right now we define a new norm. We define a new norm. Norm Z dash is equals to norm x plus norm y. First, we show that this new norm is actually a norm. It means it satisfies all the three properties of norm. And then we prove that B dash here B dash is nothing but capital B together with new norm. B dash is nothing but capital B together with new norm is a Banach space by assuming M and N are Closed in capital B by assuming M and N are closed in capital B. So right, first we show that it is a new norm. Here, here, norm Z dash is equals to norm X plus norm Y. Suppose let us take X not equals to zero and Y not equals to zero. If x not equals to zero, then norm x is greater than zero. Norm y is also greater than zero. Since x not equals to zero, y not equals to zero implies norm implies x plus y implies x plus y not equals to zero. Therefore, x plus y not equals to zero implies as norm x. Plus norm y is greater than zero. Norm x plus norm y is greater than zero means norm z dash. Norm z dash is greater than zero. Norm z dash is greater than zero. Further, further, if z dash is equals to zero, norm z dash is equals to zero. It means it means norm x is equals to zero. Norm x is equals to zero, and norm y is equals to zero. Norm x is equals to zero means x is equals to zero and norm y is equals to zero means y is equals to zero. If both x and y are zero, then x plus y is also equivalent to zero. Therefore, this condition implies and implied by also holds. Therefore, norm z dash is always greater than zero, and norm z dash is equals to zero implies and implied by x plus y is equals to zero. X plus y is equals to zero. This is the first property of norm. 
this is the first property of norm s yes. the new norm satisfies the first condition now we prove the second property of norm we prove the second property of norm for this let us take two elements let z is equals to x plus y comma s is equals to p plus q where the x comma p belongs to capital m and y comma q belongs to capital n capital n now z plus s is equals to x plus y plus p plus q rearrange the terms x plus p plus y plus q y plus q now take the norm norm z plus s whole dash is equals to norm of x plus p plus y plus q which is less than or equals to norm x plus p dash plus norm y plus q norm y plus q no need to write dash so which is again less than or equals to which is again less than or equals to norm x plus norm p plus norm y plus norm q again rearrange the terms rearrange the terms you can write norm x and norm y so less than or equals to norm x plus norm y this is the first term plus you write the second term norm p plus norm q this is second term which is clearly less than or equals to norm z dash plus norm s dash this is the second condition or this is the second property of the norm therefore norm z plus s whole dash less than or equals to norm z dash plus norm s dash which is the first second property second property of the norm already we prove the first property now we prove the second property of the norm we go for third property now let us take z is equals to x plus i y where x belongs to capital m and y belongs to capital n and take an element alpha belongs to the field capital f and alpha z is equals to alpha into x plus y now norm alpha z dash is equals to norm alpha into x plus y norm alpha into x plus y again it can be written as mod alpha into norm x plus y which is less than or equals to mod alpha into norm x plus norm y so this is norm x plus norm y is less nothing but mod alpha into norm z dash therefore we prove that therefore we prove that norm alpha z dash is equals to is less than or equals to mod alpha into norm z dash norm z dash uh, there is a small mistake i did this is not less than or equals to it, it is clearly equivalent to it is clearly equivalent to here also it is clearly equivalent to remember that sorry for that it is clearly equivalent to. this is the third condition of the norm third condition of the norm from these three conditions from this from these equations 1 2 and 3 we conclude that the new norm the new norm norm z dash is equals to norm x plus norm y is well defined well defined or actual norm actual norm it is well defined no worries now we assume that capital m and n are assume we assume that we assume that capital m and n are closed subspaces closed subspaces of the banach space closed subspaces of the banach space capital b banach space capital b by data by data they given that capital b is equals to direct sum of m and n direct sum of m and n now we have to prove that b dash with respect to new norm with respect to new norm new norm is a banach space new norm is a banach space so right banach space means banach space means uh, already b dash is a normal linear space 
so it is equivalent to show that complete so we, our aim is to show that so our aim is to show that b dash is complete so if you show that b dash is complete then obviously b dash becomes a banach space so for this let us define a cauchy sequence let zn be a cauchy sequence let zn be a cauchy sequence in b dash let zn be a cauchy sequence in b dash now write the definition of cauchy sequence for each epsilon greater than 0 there exists a positive integer i'm i'm writing the definition of cauchy sequence for each epsilon greater than 0 there exists a positive integer n not such that norm zm minus zn dash is less than epsilon for all m comma n greater than or equals to n not let it be equation number one so right here here the terms zm comma zn both belongs to b dash and this b dash is equals to m direct sum n m direct sum n so this zm can be written as this zm can be written as xm plus ym and zn can be written as xn plus ym where xm comma xn belongs to capital m ym comma yn belongs to capital n now from equation one now from equation one you see this is equation number one here from equation one norm zm means xm plus ym minus zn xn plus yn whole dash is less than epsilon is less than epsilon rearrange the terms norm xm minus xn plus ym minus yn is less than epsilon is less than epsilon so this condition implies this condition implies norm xm minus xn is less than epsilon norm ym minus yn is less than epsilon here the sum of the terms is less than epsilon so individually individually both the terms are also less than epsilon here you observe that here you observe that this is one term and this is another term if you add both the terms that is less than epsilon so obviously so obviously both the terms individually they are less than epsilon they are less than epsilon this shows us this inequality shows us xn is a cauchy sequence xn is a cauchy sequence and this condition shows us yn is a cauchy sequence xn is a cauchy sequence and yn is a cauchy sequences so here you observe that both xn and yn are cauchy sequences therefore both xn and yn are cauchy sequences are cauchy sequences in capital m and n respectively in capital m and n respectively and we know that capital M and N are closed subspaces, closed subspaces of a Banach space, of a Banach space capital B, which implies capital M and N are complete. Capital N, M and M are complete. Remember this point. Remember this point. M and N are closed subspaces of a Banach space capital B that's why M and N are complete M and N are complete and X and Y N are Cauchy sequence are Cauchy sequences in M and N respectively so the sequence X N converges to X and the sequence Y N converges to Y the sequence X N converges to X and the sequence Y N converges to Y in M and N respectively right by the definition of convergence by the definition of convergence norm xn minus x is less than epsilon by 2 is less than epsilon by 2 for all n greater than or equals to n1 where n1 is a positive integer according to the same theory from this one yn converges to y you can write norm yn minus y is less than epsilon by 2 
for all n greater than or equals to n2. So write now define now define now define n is equals to maximum of n1 comma n2 n1 comma n2 we have or it is equals to n3 say n3 we have norm xn minus x is less than epsilon by 2 norm yn minus y is less than epsilon by 2 for all for all n greater than or equals to n3 so now i am going to write norm zn minus z norm zn minus z norm zn by the definition of zn zn can be written as xn plus yn minus z can be written as x plus y rearrange the terms norm xn minus x plus yn minus y split the norm split the norm no, less than or equals to norm xn minus x plus norm yn minus y which is equivalent to epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 which is equals to epsilon this condition shows us norm zn minus z is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equals to n3 where n3 is a positive in integer that is the sequence zn converges to z in b dash the sequence zn converges to z in b dash that is every Cauchy sequence every Cauchy sequence in b dash is convergent is convergent therefore we conclude that b dash is complete whenever b dash is complete already it is a normal linear space therefore b dash is a banach space b dash is a banach space with respect to new norm with respect to new norm norm z dash is equals to norm x plus norm y hence proved this completes the proof of our statement hence proved that's it wish you all the best keep learning